Two men were killed in a shooting at a home daycare in Gatineau, Quebec, Friday morning that police say might have been related to a recent separation between the two. The home daycare is made up of two separate homes that are side by side, located at 225 and 229 Gamelin Street. At 1027, police received a call about a man who had entered the Racine de Vie daycare carrying a shotgun and threatening the staff. So we have just heard from Chef Ariel uh, confirming to us there have been 53 children that have been evacuated from this household. At 1027 this morning, uh, a call was placed at 911, uh, a call coming from uh, this daycare center uh, regarding an armed individual uh, with a, a, a firearm and he was threatening people. So uh, the police officers uh, proceed to the, this area. They arrive at 10.30 and they proceed uh, inside uh, the daycare center where uh, the, uh, the, the individual that was threatening uh, people was actually in the place. So uh, as soon as they arrive, the police officers uh, notice uh, the in individual that was lying on the floor with a firearm beside him. At least 12 police vehicles arrived on the scene and helped to reunite the children with their parents to take them home. Ariel praised daycare staff for safely evacuating all the children into a neighbor's home during the incident. To the, the Gatineau police uh, wants to acknowledge the, the, the great reaction of the uh, daycare uh, personnel that uh, secure the kids inside both, both, uh, both uh, house and uh, they proceed to a neighbor uh, when they were evacuated by the police officers. So uh, we want to take, thank uh, the uh, neighbors to take care of all the kids. We do not know their names yet. Uh, they have yet to be confirmed. There's a lot of speculation going on. There's reason to think that there has been a recent separation between the two and which has given reason to the man with the shotgun to enter the uh, daycare center here behind me. Uh, uh, what I can say is that when the police officers uh, came, the uh, responsible of the sh uh, respo the person responsible for the shooting was already on the floor with uh, firearms beside him, and uh, with the wounds, the officer could uh, could uh, pronounce uh, the person that the, it was a, an evident death. For the second individual, we was transported to the hospital, uh, where uh, his disease uh, was uh, declared. All 53 of them are not injured, they were not injured during the, uh, the event, and all the other uh, uh, worker at the daycare were also not injured, besides that, uh, that uh, man that was uh, uh, killed uh, during the event. I would like to thank, in a first time, all the services that have contributed to this operation, and my great satisfaction in the professionalism of our services. Et je suis fier que les services policiers aujourd'hui aient pensé dès les premières minutes à avertir tous les parents euh, que les parents étaient, que les enfants étaient hors danger. Et j'aimerais remercier aussi les citoyens qui, euh, qui ont contribué à, à accueillir les 53 enfants chez lui aujourd'hui. Et je suis surtout ici comme maire pour donner tout mon support aux familles qui ont, qui ont été touchées par l'événement aujourd'hui. Et... J'ai quatre enfants, j'ai un petit enfant maintenant, donc euh, puis euh, je vous dirais aussi que dans mon passé, j'ai déjà travaillé dans une garderie et euh, je sais ce que ces gens-là doivent vivre et c'est pour ça qu'après, je vais me diriger certainement vers ces gens-là. Merci beaucoup. Police set up yellow tape around the area, which was lined with squad cars, vans and emergency vehicles for most of the day. The daycare provides care for 53 children in two houses. 48 older children in one home and five babies and toddlers in the other. This report was brought to you by Samantha and Sarah Dean Meyer.